Well, hello, my friends. I hope you're doing fantastic. I missed you. Lots to catch up on. But first, guess what? So what do you think? You like it? You like it? I've been been meaning to get that done for a long time and I'm excited to finally have it up on the channel. Yes, I don't know, would love your feedback. Comment below, tell me what you think. But anyway, it's just been a really busy season. I was in California for all of Thanksgiving. I was there for about a week and then as soon as I got back from California, I went right to another shoot and then as soon as I got done with that shoot, I left that night, went to Virginia and I was there for a couple of days filming and then I got back and I was just finally settling in. It's midweek now, it's Wednesday, it's a great day. Everything's going really well. Just trying to catch up on life. Yesterday had the whole crew in here. It is a full house Monday. We got Matt, Pops. No, editors are weird on camera. <laughs> One of the ways that I'm building my company a lot is really on the editing side, so I'm having more and more people come on board for editing because from the filming standpoint, it's easy for me and certain members of my team to be able to constantly go out and shoot different things. Where we spend a lot of time, especially with content, is we do a lot of editing. There's lots of different edits that come from single pieces of filming, and so I'm kind of building my team and my company kind of on the back end first of hiring more and more editors that can continue to pump out content content so that when I am filming or when I'm traveling or when one part of our team is filming something, there's people that are continuously working on editing. What's been one of the most difficult parts of growing as like a one man and two man shop is that when we're filming all week, there's no one editing and then what happens is by the time we get done with all the filming and we have to pump out the content of what we just filmed, well there's other things that didn't get edited because we were out filming. So I'm really making sure that I have a team that is constantly in here editing while we are filming and so that as people are rotating around and doing different things, there's always someone working on all aspects of what we're doing. Anyway, just lots going on. It's a busy season, really exciting season, and I love kind of what we're doing, and, and just business is good, and I'm super thankful for it. Hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Let's just get this day continued. It's just, uh, it's just a good day. But right now, it's just me. Pablo's out at lunch or doing so. I don't know what he's doing, and then it's just me and the dog, so. It's crazy to me to think that 2018 is like almost over, that we have only about two weeks or three weeks left until this month is over already, and then we're into 2019. I cannot wait to kind of do like more of like a recap of just how good 2018 was, but I'm just blessed beyond belief for how good it was. So many new opportunities for clients, for different type of work. I feel like we're really settling in as a company of what we do well, what we want to continue doing, what we don't want to do anymore. We're starting to do more and more weddings at I think a higher level in terms of quality, I'm really loving how those are coming out. It's just a good, it's just good to see growth. It's good to see continuous growth. I have four people that are working for me now total and not all of them are full time, but just really starting to develop a good culture of people here that I feel like just really understand how the company works and I just can't wait to continue to build that side of it because as I've been bringing on more people, I'm finding people that have unique skill sets which really just creates just even better work for 4LC Studios and that's what I'm trying to do. I think one of the hardest parts of working for yourself is when you're starting out, it's kind of just you and it becomes a little bit lonely. And so I just love having more and more people come on board because I feel like I'm the most creative when I'm interacting with people and just kind of talking about different things and brainstorming ideas and, and I just love having people around. Yesterday having everyone here kind of for the first time was just a lot of fun to just uh, get a chance to just all work together and feel just this creative vibe inside the studio and we had a client come here yesterday and we got a chance to talk about an upcoming project that we're doing with them. Just lots of exciting stuff and I'm just, I'm excited because I'm excited to continue to take you on this journey and to hopefully help you see kind of how I'm doing things and how I'm growing so it can hopefully help you as well. I've said it so many times before but if you're new around this channel, I like to just tell you as much as I possibly can about how I'm doing things. Not to tell you that you have to do it but simply that if you are looking to follow in and any steps that I am doing, I wanna help you in that journey. And that's what I love about my channel is I'm never here to tell you what you have to do. I only tell you what I do and you can follow it or you don't have to. But I'm just so appreciative of each one of you that follows around on this journey and I hope you keep doing the same. It's just, uh, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, like I said, I'm really trying next year in 2019 and already beginning to plan for it of what like my overall content type schedule will be you know, what I do with podcasts, what I do with YouTube videos, what I do with possible resources for people to buy. Lots of different things that I'm thinking about and I just am trying to really get more kind of a, 
consistency in life because things are so crazy and business is continuing to grow and so many things are happening my brain is trying to process so many things simultaneously that what ends up happening is I just kind of get overwhelmed with not really knowing like where I was in any specific thing and then what happens is I get confused and I start one thing but don't finish it and then I finish something else and I kind of it gets a little bit confusing so I'm trying to be better at figuring out what each specific day, each specific piece of content, or how I want it to come out on a regular basis. See, I realized a long time ago that everyone has different preferences on things that they wanna watch. There are certain videos that I put out that I don't think are actually that good and they get super high views and I realize maybe you liked it more than I did. Then there are other videos I think that are gonna do well based on certain topics and then they don't do well. And when I say well, I mean like engagement with you, how many people comment and discuss things. And so my thing is really trying to figure out like what type stuff is gonna be best on my channel. Do I want to do more gear reviews, more tutorials? Do I wanna do more behind the scenes? What kind of stuff would you like to see more of? I'm all about providing value on this channel. But at the end of the day, the actual reality is that more than 80% of people that watch every video I post are not even subscribers. It's really based on the YouTube algorithm and what YouTube thinks people would wanna watch. So there's always gonna be a balance of, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you've been watching for a while, there's always gonna be certain things that might come on the channel that might not be important to you, and that's okay, you don't have to watch them. There are things that are really gonna resonate with you and other things that might not. For a lot of you that came to my channel specifically about wedding filmmaking, hopefully you know that all wedding-based content is kind of now on the Wedding Film School channel, so make sure you follow that. This channel is gonna stay primarily as video production and that's it, so things related to that. Gear reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes, business things, all about that idea and about business in general, not wedding filmmaking. So I always suggest that you move on to that side. I'll still talk about business things from wedding filmmaking because that's obviously still part of what I do, but that's not gonna be a thing I do forever, so I really wanna make sure that that stays as a brand that continues to build just for wedding filmmakers outside of what I do. And here's another thing I really always wanna challenge you if you watch my YouTube channel or anyone else's YouTube channel is the fact that not every single video is gonna be perfectly relatable to you and that's okay. There are so many people that get value out of different videos than you do and it's important to realize, especially from my standpoint, that I don't cater every single piece of video I do to one specific demographic because it varies. There are people that really love some of the business and tactical things that I talk about. There are people that love behind the scenes videos, there are people that love tutorials, gear reviews, they're all different types of people and because my channel is not one specific thing, you just have to understand that there may be times a video doesn't necessarily cater to you and I encourage you to try to watch as many as you can regardless because one thing about my channel is that because it's kind of random with thoughts, there are different things that I talk about in different videos that may not be related to the title or the thumbnail. I'm not a person that stresses titles and thumbnails because I'm just not really that into caring as much about views as a lot of other YouTubers. So at the end of the day, sometimes my titles may not be directly accurate to what I'm talking about because there's so many things that I cover. So I love to try to tell you as much as possible to hit the notification bell and watch every video that I post. I don't care about views. I care more about the fact that there are times that some of what I think are the most valuable nuggets that I put randomly in a vlog have to do with the fact that they're just randomly placed in a video that, that was kind of that day's vlog and the title is more based on something else that I'm even talking about in the video as well. So it's really hard to kind of pick and choose what title should be and I'd hate for you to miss out on some good stuff if it relates to you just because the title didn't, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can just realize that by now I'm not a clickbait type of title person. I literally try to just title them the best way that I possibly can and hopefully they're accurate, but there's no way that in every single video I post, 100% of the time is always gonna be devoted to that title. So. Watch them as much as you can. But that's gonna do it for today. That's gonna do it for kind of this vlog. I just wanted to kind of touch base, say hello, hope you're all doing well, let you know that lots of new things are coming and I'd love to get your feedback on what type of stuff you'd like to see continue to come. And also, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'd love to know how long you've been watching. If you're still watching the end of this video, you're one of the people that I really appreciate because watching the end of any YouTube video is something not a lot of people do. So if you've come all the way to this spot, thank you. Say hello on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat, anything you're on. Just say hello somewhere and let me know you're watching. See you guys.